Do you love driving but are so sick to your tummy because you gotta spend all your greenbacks on a brand new four wheel go-go machine? Do you hate going to a dealership just to have to look a floor salesman in the eye and say, I don't have any money. I'm wasting your time. Are you sick and tired of being treated like an adult baby? Well, boy, oh girl, do I have a car for you. Come on down to Jerry's Used Car Auto Mart where I'm gonna put you in a brand new 2020 Chang Lee ZYX for $930. Hold on, what? Stop for a second. Frankie boy, is that the total car price or the monthly price? The total price, what? The ZYX is an electric vehicle that you can buy online today that costs less than a pair of Jordan 1 breads. A car that can not only haul you and your friends around, but also has a center driver's seat. It's basically a McLaren F1. While it might not look all that great, it's cheap, it works, and it got me thinking, how can you make a car so inexpensive? Between the engineering, the development, the manufacturing, shipping, and a ton of other factors, if the goal is to turn a profit, how can a company do that on a sub $1,000 car? So today, we're gonna dive into the world of cheap cars and see where companies cut costs in order to make more Franklins. I might just buy one of these to give it away on the Donut Underground. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you to The Zebra for sponsoring today's video. Oh hey, did you know The Zebra is the nation's leading car insurance comparison site? They make it possible to compare quotes from over 100 plus insurance companies in under five minutes. The Zebra is about convenience, expertise, savings, and of course, transparency. Unlike other car insurance company sites, the Zebra doesn't need your phone number and they're not interested in selling your data. The Zebra just wants to help you save money and find your perfect policy no matter who you are or what you drive. It's that simple. Drivers who use the Zebra have saved an average of $440 a year on their car insurance. So head on over to thezebra.com slash bumper to compare quotes for free today. Now let's get back to the show. Oh shoot. I think I missed my exit. No problem. <laughs> The Chang Li ZYX is a Chinese-made rear-wheel drive electric lukewarm rod of a vehicle that you can buy without ever leaving your house. Surf on over to Alibaba.com and within a few clicks, you'll have one of these bad boys delivered in a box to your driveway. With three power level options, the ZYX has a maximum speed around 25 miles per with a 40 mile range. It's got independent suspension and it has luxury features like a full-size spare tire, backup camera and a digital dashboard. When I bought my F-150, the dash alone cost more than this entire car. But the cost of a car is more than just a running list of parts. Manufacturers have to design, research, and develop that car into its shiny new perfection before it reaches any lot. And that's an expensive endeavor. When it comes down to it, the research and development, marketing costs, and engineering costs of a new car outweigh the cost of parts alone. But that paradigm is for big name manufacturers. Chang Li, they cut costs by focusing on the parts. And when talking EVs, most of the costs comes from the batteries. The four-wheel electric environmental protection car, small electric car, as it's called on Alibaba, is powered by five 12-volt lead-acid batteries producing 60 volts of juice. Now, 60 volts, those are rookie numbers. You gotta pump those suckers up, especially when you compare it to a Model 3's 400 volts. But voltage aside, the real thing to focus on is the type of battery. All the major manufacturers in the EV market use some sort of lithium ion technology. Whether the chemistry is lithium nickel cobalt aluminum, or if it's lithium nickel manganese cobalt, they're using lithium batteries. And the reason is pretty simple. They have more capacity, they have a higher energy density, they're more efficient, they have a longer lifespan, and they have a larger depth of discharge. While it's normal to use 85% or more of a lithium ion battery's total capacity in a single charge, it's damaging to discharge a lead acid battery past 50%. After that, you start to shorten its lifespan. But if lithium ion is the answer, what's the catch? The catch is cost. You gotta mine them and then you gotta process and convert them into high purity versions that make quality, long lasting batteries. Lead acid on the other hand, it's cheap. Lead is cheap, acid is cheap. Not only are the actual batteries cheap, so is the housing to put them in. The batteries are covered with a low cost cardboard sheet right beneath the driver's seat as opposed to nestled into some custom engineered casing that for example you see in a Lucid or Tesla. I mentioned a second ago energy density and the better that metric is the longer range you have. 
the lead acid batteries in the ZYX get you an average of 40 miles. Now the median EPA estimated range for an average EV vehicle in 2020 was 250 miles. It also takes about six to eight hours to charge those lead acid batteries, another downside of using them. And once you spend all that time charging them, where they're at full capacity and you stomp on the electricity, you'll notice a lack of power. That's because the ZYX has only a single 1200 watt 1.6 horsepower DC motor. The same type of motor in your washing machine. Yep, it's just a washing machine on wheels. And not all, but most EVs use motors that run on alternating current, but their batteries output direct current. So how do you go from DC from the battery to turn it into AC for the motors? Well, AC, it's wiggly. DC, it's straight. So in order to get the straight to turn wiggly, you need some electronics to do that. Specifically, you need an inverter. And the inverter takes direct current from the battery, switches it on and off so fast that it turns it into alternating current, the type of current needed by the motors. Those inverters are extremely sophisticated. When I met with the CEO of Lucid, Peter Rawlinson, about the Lucid Air, we nerded out for 30 minutes just on inverters. With that sophisticated piece of equipment comes cost. But if you use the same type of current coming off the batteries to power your motor, you don't need a fancy inverter. You got DC from the batteries, DC to the motors. You can get your Samsung washer on wheels, and you call it a day. Now, Chang Li manufacturers did find a way to save some bucks in the brake department by, well, not including them on the front wheels. They cut the cost of brake installation in half right there. Now, most cars rely pretty heavily on front disc brakes for anywhere from 60 to 90% of their stopping power but big cars are heavy and they need those brakes. The ZYX weighs in at 323 kgs. That's just over 700 pounds or... I'm not gonna say it guys. I've matured, I'm a better person now and I just won't do it, your mom. But in the rear, you have the cheapest brakes outside of Flintstone feet, the mechanical drum brake. When you press the pedal, the pedal pivots, actuating a bell crank style linkage that engages a series of lever arms and a spline rod, which pushes the brake shoes against a rotating cylinder. The more costly and more common braking systems are hydraulic disc brakes. The benefit of disc brakes over drum brakes is in the heat dissipation department. That's what they call me when I'm around the pool in a speedo. I cool everybody Ooh. off. <laughs> Drum brakes allow heat to build up inside the drum when braking. Well, with disc brakes, the rotor is free flowing in the wind. That flow of air around the rotor cools the entire braking system, preventing that hydraulic fluid from boiling and causing brake fade. The Chang Li ZYX, or as it's also called on Alibaba, elderly leisure commuting to pick up children car, cut costs not only in the battery and motor department, but also in the steering system as well. It uses a rack and pinion setup that was first seen in the American automotive manufacturing way back in 1974 in the Mustang II and Pinto. The rack and pinion steering is not only a more straightforward and simplistic design than the recirculating ball steering system previously used, it's also more cost effective to build due to its simplicity. It's also cheaper than hydraulic power steering, electric power hydraulic steering, and fully electric power steering. Because of the low cost, along with the fact that it's pretty easy to figure out out when something goes wrong with it, the Chang Li kept it simple and used rack and pinion. When we look in the suspension department, there's a fun mashup of modern and relatively ancient history happening near the steering shaft. The front suspension is made up of a dead axle and kingpins to let the steering knuckles rotate. Never heard of a kingpin? Well, maybe that's because they were more commonly spotted on the Model T. The axle fits in between two collars on the spindle and rests on a roller bearing. And that kingpin slides through the spindle and the axle where an alignment pin locks everything in place. In terms of suspension setup, this is super simple and super cheap. And in the rear, surprisingly, you have coil springs. And those coilovers might not be the cheaper option for most manufacturers because they would need to buy those parts from other factories. But for Chang Li, the parts are made by the same company manufacturing the cars themselves. So that keeps costs lower by consolidating production of parts and cars into one single factory. And they make them in bulk. And when you buy in bulk, the price drops. Have you ever shopped at Sam's or Costco or Jerry's Discount Motorcycle Shop? Because I got a bunch of motorcycles and I'm selling them for cheap. <laughs> I never sell my motorcycles, ever. If you buy one of my motorcycles, it's because I'm dead. <laughs> my girlfriend's like, sell some of your motorcycles. And I'm like, never, ever. And I'm not willing them to you either. I'm gonna wheel them to a museum and you'll never be able to touch them. <laughs> You're gonna be begging the museum curator to be like, hey, can I scrape some, some of the seat 
dander off of it and smell them. And I'm gonna be like, no, I'll will it to a member of the Donut Underground. If actually, if you wanna see more motorcycle content, go on the Donut Underground. We're gonna do a video on my whole motorcycle collection. Check it out. Also, click the like and subscribe button because that really helps me out. Let's us know that we're doing a good job. This same paradigm applies to the frame. The same frame we see on the ZYX is stamped out in mass for all kinds of other low speed delivery vehicles and tricycles across Asia and Europe. And it's not just the frame, it's the body, the lights, the heater, the backup camera, the windows and the trim and the regulators. The truth is the Changli functions as basic as a car can be. It does its job of going from A to B using old school engineering. Instead of spending big bucks on development and specialized parts, Changli uses old tech, low cost parts. For the money, I would have killed for one of these when I was 16. Are you kidding me? If me and my friends had a dozen of these bad boys, it would have been a blast. Are they safe? Probably not. Are they fun? Time will tell. Show your support for America's favorite off-roader and America's favorite off-road team with the brand new High Team T-shirt. I think he means the Low Team T-shirt. No, I said America's favorite off-roader and off-road team, high team. Yeah, low team, that's what... High team. Low team, low team. But, no, and people only like you guys ironically. I don't think that's true, James. Dude, this is a classy shirt. It's black, it's sleek. We're like the heroes of the Mighty Ducks, the Hawks. If you'd like a little more lighthearted fare, the low team t-shirt comes in this beautiful light blue color, letting people know that you're a easy going fella, or Lady. Well, whichever team you want to represent, whether it's high team or the wrong team, they're all available at donutmedia.com for $29.98, which is so much cheaper than $30. So much, so much cheaper, James. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of B2B. We love you. If you want to see more uh, donut stuff, follow us here on Instagram at donut, at donut media. Follow me at Jeremiah Burton. Follow me on TikTok, Silence of the Lambda. I might be shadow banned again. I don't know what the hell is happening. I just want to make TikToks. I keep changing my name and TikTok hates it. So if you got a better username, put it down in the comments. Best one, I'll send you a t-shirt. If I use it. Only if I use it. Okay. Uh, until next week. Bye for now.